Yo, what is going on, guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make uh, anime profile pictures or just like profile picture. Yeah, I mean, anime profile pictures is just to make them look better and shit. <clears throat> <clears throat> Fuck, bro. All right. <clears throat> Damn. Uh, anyway, I'm going to, yeah, teach you how to make like anime profile pictures, basically. Because uh, uh, why not? I don't got any ideas, to be honest. I'm out of ideas. You guys better give me ideas because I'm out of ideas. Anyway, yeah, let's just get into the video. Hope you enjoy. Yep, leave a like, subscribe. Please leave a like and subscribe. Like, please, I'm begging you. All right, anyway, bye. Anyway, open up Photoshop, click new, and then press 800 by 800. Because, uh, like, that's a normal logo thing. Now, what you want to do is actually, it's kind of, you go on the web, you search, like, anime, um, whatever character you're using. So, let's just say, um, let's just use, like, Killua and just search up of her pictures. I know it's already like kind of made. I know we can just like look at these ones and just do this. But look, like let's put this one. Like I can make this one better, you know. So just put it in here. Make it the right size. Boom. And now what you want to do? The first thing I like to do is I like to remove the background and then copy this by press pressing Control J. Boom. Now I want to press Blur. I mean Filter Blur and then put on Gaussian Blur if I. Find that, yep, and then put it on 10. Put this on overlay, boom, that's already better. Now you want to copy this, you want to put it on lighten, and you want to put it down to like 60 or 70. I also want to copy this one, I'm gonna put on color dodge at or whatever, and then put it on 12, just like that. Now, actually, you can copy this another time, or actually, no, 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 you want to copy the first layer, boom. Now you want to put filter, blur. I'm gonna put motion blur just like that. Put it on these settings right here. Click OK, and you can start to mess around. I like to like maybe add overlay or something, cause it just looks nice. It just looks nicer, you know. Look, you see the difference. See, all right, there you go. Now we have this. Once you have done that, if you want to change the color of the whole thing, just press here, click gradient map, and actually do the opposite so put black here put whatever color you want to do here and look red see you can just do red you can do green you can do whatever color you want but if you don't want to change it at all that's fine you can just merge all of these layers by holding Control shift and then here and then just press on this one group it and then Control j this and then Control e and then you can hide this group behind now you have only this can click filter and then camera raw filter <clears throat> and I will show you in a minute all right here mess around with these settings just to see what's best for you um yeah what you like the most and stuff so I'm gonna just leave this at zero this also like this and then maybe take this down shadows a bit up this about down. just test see what looks best this is important so actually you can leave it whatever you want I'll just leave it like this alright there you go just like that now you want to press now you can do there's two methods to this you can either wait three methods actually you can press here in the solid color and put it to like a grayish like this now you want to do filter and then add noise and then rasterize and then you can add like 12 percent then you can press screen and it will look something like this and then you can put the passive bit down or you can just press on uh, actually no or you can go on filter gallery so actually let me do it on a different one uh all right so let me do it on this one so look you can do this one and then you can just press filter gallery then you can press you can do texturize as well just to make it look like that if you want to but um yeah so you press on grain or i'm pretty sure there's another one called noise film grain there you go and i can add like the amount you want which probably will look best too here boom so you can do that or you can or you can just add hold on let me just so look this and then boom all right, so we have the color fill one and okay hold on <laughs> all right bro hold on all right so you got the color fill one and then you got the filter gallery one 
and then you got the the normal one which I'll show you the noise normal look so this one you just okay wait maybe this one is okay wait did I this was has already grain on it all right so hold on a minute ay 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 anyway all right so um so let's just merge this there you go all right there you go now this is a normal all right so now what you can do is you click filter and then add noise actually hide this layer filter add noise and then add noise and you can just add noise like this so look this is the difference between all of them so here it looks like this this one looks like this oh hold on so this one looks like this this one looks like this and then this one looks like this so you see it's a bit different on everything of course this one doesn't have the camera raw filter i mean the yeah yeah the camera raw filter stuff but as you can see that's basically it but i will actually show you another thing so let's just use like um let's just use this one so look um just press here here and then let's use this one for the test I will show you another thing, how to change the eye color, which will actually maybe help you. Uh, look, you press here. Like, I'll, I'll make a whole nother one. Just keep on watching. So, actually, yeah, if you have a text right here, look. Yeah, text, text right here, you can remove it by just pressing on the spot healing brush. Just do this. Okay, that's not going to work on an empty layer. There you go. See? Worked. No one's going to notice. Now, what you can do is you can add another layer or this one layer right here you can add the whatever color you want or you actually no 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 just do this so okay bro press here press here and then press here same goes with this there you go and i press ctrl j press here q saturation and then uh hold alt and press here between those and now you can change the eye color to whatever color you want. Oh, actually, make sure you select this as well. So you have this. Okay, I'm not the best in this. There you go. Now, all right, so now you can change the colors of the eye. And actually, if you want to make it glow as well, so look, let me put like red. Just like that red eyes make another layer pick the color red and look you can actually um put the hardness at zero you can press here press here then you can add screen or lighten or overlay or soft light but uh you can just add screen then you can actually make another layer which Okay, not like that and we look uh, make another layer you can add a bigger brush just like that click blur and then Gaussian blur and then find a good amount probably this and I'll make it smaller well it kind of works you know uh, anyway just like this you can mess around also I like to add Sharingan just be more like look Sharingan PNG just to be more creative if you know what I mean of course, it's Naruto, it doesn't match with Killua, but hey, whatever, you know, it does not matter. So just remove this. So look, you can just add like Sharingan eyes and shit, just to make it look better. So look, you put, you put the passy bit down and you go around his eye. Instead of cutting, you can just use the razor tool and just go around because you can see where his eyes is. So you can just do this all the way around. I would also recommend making the Sharingan eye smaller. <laughs> okay, wait, I can't really see where his eye is now. So just go around here, 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 there you go. So now if I make it a bit like this. Okay, that's terrible. Yeah, but you get the point, you know, uh, yeah. So that's basically it for today's tutorial. Uh, not really, because I'm going to be supposed to be doing all of this, right? All right, so, 
all right so boom boom look click here filter blur gaussian blur put it on 10 boom here click overlay boom copy this boom uh click on lighten boom put it on 70 uh you're not done boom put it on linear dodge add boom 12 boom boom here here copy this layer boom filter blur motion blur boom put it on overlay uh once you're done with everything you can just merge everything into one click filter gallery uh not really click filter uh camera filter yep and you can put the passive bit down i mean exposure bit down put this a bit up just mess around with the settings to make it look better Yeah, you can make like a you know what i mean all right there we go there's this kind of done anyway i hope you guys did enjoy this video leave a like and subscribe and yeah uh, see you